Is the okay. star of Bethlehem a myth or a reality? Uh, were the three wise men or three magi actually guided by this star? What really happened there? And, you know, that has a whole bunch of questions that, that you know, might even come into play, like yeah. what year was our Lord born? Was it 1 AD? It wasn't really right. that. It was 3 BC or 2 BC. And, and how much does yeah. us knowing those facts specifically matter? Yeah, well, first, uh, I made to answer the second question first. I, I don't think it, it, it really is of great consequence to all of the, the huge historical realities. We do know the gift of the Holy Spirit, the resurrection and glory, the passion of Jesus, and his, the virginal birth of, of Mary and his conception by the Holy Spirit. I mean, these are the big truths. Now, exactly when it happened or whether the star was real, is not going to be of any great consequence for the salvation of either my soul or your soul. It, it may be helpful to make a historical case uh, for Jesus, but it will be a very minor part of the historical case. Much better cases are being made by, for example, N.T. Wright in that uh, book, in that article you know, that I just referred to, uh, Suspending Skepticism, History and the Virgin Birth. Now, just to get to the first part of the question, though, mm -hmm. uh, do we know the actual date of Jesus' birth? We cannot be certain of it. Mm -hmm. There's just too many complications in the formulation of the calendar, too many complications vis-a-vis, -vis, you know, the, uh, uh, the, the, the uh, lunar calendar that the uh, Jewish people are operating uh, from, just too many complications mm -hmm. to really figure this thing out. There, and, and so for all intents and purposes, we don't know. Can we have reasonable prob probability that it's somewhere between 3 BC and 1 AD? Yes, mm -hmm. we can have reasonable probability, but af you know, trying to get further precision is difficult. Mm -hmm. But that is connected with the whole issue of the star. Right. And quite frankly, there are some reasonable cases that have been made for the star of Bethlehem. Uh, one of them was a film, I, it might have been an EWTN production, or at least it was run We aired it by on EWTN. EWTN. We did while. air it on EWTN a couple yeah, of years ago, right? That's right. And it was done by an attorney mm -hmm. um, who uh, basically had looked at the astronomical evidence and, um, uh, you know, had tried, you know, given th those operating parameters of 3 BC to 1 AD, he'd made a pretty interesting case, uh, you know, for, uh, you know, what would the star have been like? Why would it have seemed to have traveled in the way uh, that it did? And it, and it was a plausible case. I forget what the, the, the person's name was. I know he was an attorney who had kind of studied mm -hmm. this and studied some astronomy. Uh, I had not gone into the thing in, in any kind of detail at all, but, um, but uh, I think it's called the Star of Bethlehem, mm -hmm. and uh, I am sure it's still available, and you might even be able right. to get some snippets of it from YouTube.